Hey everybody, it's Kyle with the Country Carving Channel. Uh, welcome back. It's been a little while since I've done a video, um, so looking forward to doing some carving today. Today I'm going to do a step-by-step -step video on how to carve a face in a golf ball. Um, if you haven't checked it out, I did do an intro video on golf ball carving. Uh, I'll put a link in the description and uh, yeah, pause this, go check that one out uh, and come back. We're going to do um, hopefully a, whole, a full face. Should be a longer video um, for those of you that are interested in kind of just following along and going step by step. Um, partly why I'm doing the channel, uh, hoping to be able to teach people new skills and and yeah, this should be should be lots of fun. It's a beautiful day here in Calgary, out in the backyard again. Stay tuned, and we'll get all set up. Thanks. Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, so if you haven't checked it out already, uh, go check out the uh, introduction to golf ball carving video that I already did. Links in the description below. Um, that will show you how to actually open the golf ball. Um, but I'm going to skip over that and just get right into it. So step one, uh, I'm going to get rid of the top because we won't need that anymore. Uh, I usually use it as just a stand. Um, and then step one is to actually draw on the nose and and kind of the top of where the eyes will be so just about um, halfway up the ball I'm gonna just draw a straight line that'll be where the the nose will actually go I'll just start right here and then we'll these are a bit of a caricature so pretty big nose on these so we'll draw the two lines up the side and then the top of the eye socket will just kind of swoop around now these are pretty rough to begin with so you can't really go wrong So just make sure you can see that. So just got your bottom of the nose and then it swoops up to give you the top of the eye sockets and then we're gonna carve that out. Okay, now we're gonna just take a V tool and follow it along that line. This doesn't have to be perfect. Most of this you can really just play with as you go. So we'll just follow that around. Okay. Just like that. Now you can use lots of different tools to um, try to just bring out the nose now so that's kind of the key piece right now so we're just gonna just do a stop cut we don't want to chop it off so and just try to slowly bring out the features of the nose really it's just going to be a bit of a block to begin with between a knife and different gouges um, but just to show you I'll, I'll kind of just show a few this one's a nice size for uh, the actual eye socket so especially on golf balls I'll use this gouge it's a bit shallower and you can just follow that line right around If you haven't done so already, please take a moment and just smash that like button. It uh, really helps the channel out and gets people to view these videos. Um, really hoping to build this channel, so um, it's pretty small still. And uh, yeah, could use your help. So smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and uh, hoping to put out lots more content.
drop this down. So there really is no right or wrong here. Um, all you're doing is just raising up the nose. Obviously on the face, the nose is the highest point on the front of the face. So you just wanna bring that up. Well, I hope it's a beautiful day wherever you are. This is probably the nicest day that we've had here in Calgary. This is the Canada Day long weekend here, so it's nice to just relax and do a bit of carving. So you'll see later in the video um, that you can do lots of different options and you'll, if you want to check out a few examples, there's some examples of different golf holes I've played around with on my Etsy store. Um, but for the most part, um, they're all going to start like this. Just setting up your nose and the eye sockets. For any of you that are new to golf ball carving, you'll you'll quickly see that um, it's a little bit, I'd say, probably easier than carving wood because um, there's no grain, and so you can really just get precise on your on your cuts. Sockets a little bit more. Now the goal of this is to remain pretty symmetrical. Um, you don't want the two sides getting uh, too out of whack. Um, I don't know if you've, if you watched my eye video, um, you can do a bit of a test with your thumbs to actually just get a feel for whether, how close you actually are. Okay. I think for now that'll be pretty good. Okay, awesome. Make sure you can see that okay. So 
Um, you can see we've just kind of got our eye sockets, um, our nose is up, and uh, just giving it a bit of a, a profile. So next I'm going to just take this and I'm going to take a less, uh, less deep U gouge and uh, I'm going to start to shape the nose. Um, one of my techniques I use on my nose, um, and I'm hoping you can hear this okay, uh, it's starting to get a little windy, is I'll run a, this V gouge kind of straight up the nose on both sides um, and this starts to just lower the actual nostril. Just like that. Next what I do is I'll actually, so then you flip that gouge over and I'll push it right in and so I'm just going to create the, the nostril now. And I just pop that in. Okay, I do the same on the other side. back and forth between a knife and the gouge and I'll just start to shape shape the nose uh, making the bridge kind of along the top of the nose. Lots of different tools. Now I usually use a gouge in here because, um, I mean on the human face we don't actually have hard lines along our, our nose, and so I don't use a, a V-tool to make those, those hard lines. Kind of 
connecting in the eye socket that we already made. like that. Okay, so we've got his eye sockets, we've got his nose roughed out. See that? So we've got snows just kind of roughed in there. So now um, I'm just going to leave the eyes for a bit. Um, we can kind of decide as to what we want to do with the, the top of the face. Um, kind of whether he wants some hair, he's bald. Um, we're going to do some ears on this and then uh, later we'll decide whether we're actually going to do a uh, mustache or um, some sort of facial expression. Okay, so I'm going to just draw in some eyebrows uh, and where the ears should go on him. So, just draw in some eyebrows along this ridge line. I'm also going to draw in the uh, ears. And so just leave a little bit of space between where the eyebrow line is and the ear. And draw a kind of nice big swoop, and then it comes down into your earlobe. like that. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. You do want them to, again, try to be as same as possible. Sweep that down to a small earlobe and up. Um, and the idea is you're not going right down to the bottom of the golf ball. Um, yeah, so you can actually see we've got a line uh, that's going through the rubber on the inside of the golf ball and you can see we're pretty symmetrical with that. We've got our ears and we've got our eyebrows. So I'm going to just take, and, uh, take a V gouge and I'm just going to run it around all of that. I usually go, I try to take the pencil line, but I also go more on the outside of the pencil um, to make sure I'm leaving that shape that we, we've drawn out.
Okay. Now the reason we do this is just to make sure that um, we're leaving these pieces higher. Uh, you don't want to be um, carving them away. So I'm going to just take a gouge and just slowly take the front of that eyebrow. And just take a bit out in the middle. Again in the front of this eyebrow. Okay. We're gonna clean up the nose. Obviously it looks a little funny now. Same here. Take a knife and do uh, stop cuts just around the ear, both sides. Top of the eyebrow. Just gonna bring down the top of the head a little. Okay, good stuff. And again, remember this is kind of caricature carving, so um, you want big nose, big ears. Um, this makes it look a little fun. I'm going to show you a few different techniques as we as we go here. The other thing I do is um, where I try to cut off it like at the end every part of the golf ball that um, was showing it does look a little bit different than what uh, carved golf ball looks like so just kind of an aesthetics thing. Now, here, it doesn't have a lip in the front end, so what I'm going to do is actually Oops. Okay, what I'm going to do is actually just bring this edge down 
give a bit of an angle to the ear. Like that. Do the same on this side. Like that. Okay. <clears throat> now what I do on my ears is I take a small shallow gouge, uh, one of the micro uh, gouges, and I'm just going to clean this up slightly. What I do is now I actually just take and I stick it in there. So that one might be a little bit too shallow. There we go. And about right in the middle, I just stick that straight in. And then what we'll do is we'll actually take pencil and we'll just draw a line right around the edge of the ear, like that. Okay, I'm gonna just do the same thing on this side. I'm just gonna stick it straight in. And I'm gonna take a V gouge. Use the micro V. I'm gonna follow along this pencil line that I just made. I mean, you don't need the pencil line. If you really wanted, you could just follow along the edge of the ear. You just want to follow those curves. Give it that earlobe. I like that. Okay, going to do the same thing on this side. take that same V gouge or sorry the U gouge that we used to indent right there and you take and push straight in from the V that you just made into the U. And you're just going to keep going all the way through and this is what makes your actual ear channel. Just like that. Nice simple ear. Just be careful not to pop that center out. But it should be really acting as a nice stop cut. We've got our nose, we've got some rounded eyebrows, we've got our ears in place. Um, let's just do the, the hair on the top of the head. So I'm going to keep this pretty simple for the video. Um, I'm just going to do a little sideburn in front of each ear and we're going to give them kind of that bald, bald horseshoe hair look. And again, nice little sideburn. And you can go from kind of the half bottom of the ear or halfway up the ear and we'll just draw in the the bottom of the hairline. Just like that. I'm going to take a V gouge and just follow along that top line. Again along the bottom. And you can totally experiment with different hairstyles and I've put ball caps on and I've done ones with no eyes um, and just hair. Uh, so this is where you can really experiment. Just take a V gouge 
and run it along the bottom here a couple times. To kind of just give that depth to the hair. We're actually going to stop cut the top of his head now. So we just need to bring in the forehead a little to actually make it uh, make the hair pop a little. And just cut right back into that stop cut. It'll just pop right away. if you make it deep enough. <laughs> okay. Got his hair, we'll we'll put in some hair in a bit. So now I think let's do the the front part of the face. Uh, let's just action. so we're gonna just do the the actual facial expression. So first to actually give cheek lines, we're gonna go from just right in sort of near the nostril. Um, and flare it out a little ways and just pull it straight down. And we're going to do the same on this side. And flare it down. Just like that. Okay. Now this is where you can get really creative um, and just do all kinds of different mouth shapes. Um, what I'm going to try and do is just bit of a smile here. And we're going to just go here in the corners, angle it in about 45 degrees, and then follow the line of the bottom of the golf ball. And that's going to create our mouth shape. And so within this we're going to um, just do some, some teeth and have just a bit of a bit of a grin with some teeth and uh, and then we'll have a, a lower lip here so let's just take and we'll take the V gouge and follow along those cheek lines go both ways right up into the nose Just lower this slightly. And then we'll redraw that back on. I was just creating our cheek lines and now we'll redraw in the the mouth so the face that I'm doing turn this a little getting some shadows 
face I'm doing is it's a bit of a downward, almost look like a frown, but I do. Right along the bottom. So next I'm going to actually just draw in some teeth. Um, one way to do that is to just draw a center line and you can play around. Um, just do, maybe we'll do four on the bottom. Maybe we just do two big ones on top. See that? And I'm gonna just take and uh, start to knife that out. So teeth kind of angle back into the mouth, so I'm gonna just do that first. Make sure to stop cut. So we said we would just do two at the top, so I'm going to just angle that in. I'm going to just pop this right out of there. Now between the teeth, just do a Nice little V. It'll pop out. that. Okay, now I'm going to do the bottom ones. So again, we're going to angle those teeth back. And this time we want him to have a whole mouthful. So we're going to have four on the bottom. So again, just little V's between each tooth. What it does is it really gives the, the tooth that shape. Okay. Now, you can do the same at the top. Just 
being very delicate. This one's almost just a diamond in there. Pop it right out. They got a little too gnarly, you can clean them up a bit. Looks like this one it's a bit. Okay, and there you go, you got your mouth. So, one thing I like to do is to actually run a bit of a channel up the top lip. We've got our mouth, which leaves us with our eyes. So, um, going to just draw in the first part of the eye, and uh, and then we'll V that out and go from there. So, just going to draw in two kind of nice oval eyes in here. Nice big eyes. Again, this is a caricature, so um, you want to just accentuate items. Try to get those as close as you can together. All right. So what we've got now is we've got the eyes drawn in, um, looks a little scary to be honest, uh, and I'm going to just take a V and V those out. So now, I'm going to take a knife and we're going to do a stop cut um, into the corner of each one of the eyes. And you're going to just take and pop that right out. Do that on both sides. Okay. 
and join it up so that you um, the whole idea is to get a nice rounded eye. And sometimes it can be hard to get into the eye to actually do this, so um, small chisels, that kind of thing, can help. This golf ball actually has some pretty neat colors. This big chunk pops right out. Again, you'll want to keep looking to see that they're pretty similar. So the next step, um, well, right now you, you have a choice. You can either stop there um, and you can actually paint the insides of the eyes. Um, I've actually just done that on a couple and uh, it looks pretty cool, but um, the one other way is we actually carve it out and, uh, and we'll make in the pupils and we'll do the eye. Um, uh, eyelashes, so uh, I'm going to try and carve these out. It can be a bit painful um, to pop it out on the golf ball, um, but we're going to do that today. So what I'm going to do is actually take a U and I'm going to just stick it kind of in line with the eye and I'm going to jab it straight in. Just be very careful when you're doing this. And then I'm going to do the same on this side, line it up again. do is we'll take and we'll just continue to stop cut right into that eye and we'll start to take out pieces of this. Now the reason I said it's in wood, it normally just chips right out. Um, with the golf ball, not so much. So you just try to be very careful. Do the stop cuts and work at it. And then it'll start to pop up. So um, that's how you do it. I'm gonna just clean these eyes out um, and then I'll, I'll come back and we'll, we'll finish it up. Okay, so uh, just get that in focus. So dug out the, the pupils there. Um, not perfect, but um, it's looking, looking better. Um, can you continue to just kind of play with that. Um, I might actually just drop in this left side here a little bit more. Just give it that rounded look. Most of this stuff you can just kind of continue to play with it. I mean, that's the, the joy of carving, right? So next, we're going to just do some lines around the eye. We're going to do some lines around the eye to give it uh, some eyelids. Looks a little funny right now. So we will go ahead and do that. So you can draw these in first, obviously. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead. So 
So this is meant to kind of give it that, your eyelid. Same here. Okay. Do the same on the bottom. And these are meant to be pretty fine lines. Um, a lot of times I'll do the, the same where I'll actually flip my V-tool a little. Okay, get the bottom on this side. Sometimes it just shows where a little bit of cleanup is needed. Come back to the nose a little bit here. And there isn't a strict order to doing these things. I mean, I've jumped around a little bit here during the video. Um, but I mean, you could have done the eyes right after the nose. And then let everyone let everything play from there. I think these eyes look pretty good. Now I will say these eyes are probably a little too big for too big for this carving, but that's what happens with caricature carving. I'm just gonna do the the hair on the eyebrows first. Actually, these are looking a little high. So I'm going to just round off these corners again. We'll clean up in there in a minute. Okay, so how I do my eyebrows is I'll do um, two, take the V-gouge and I do two straight lines up. Okay, just run it off the back a little. Um, go find friend, boyfriend, husband, and take a look at their eyebrows, and you'll actually see that the first few actually go straight up and down, and then they start to curve from there. So we're gonna take, and I come right out of that same spot almost, and I fan it out from there, and let it kind of curve around. Okay. And we'll just fan it out. And give them one more. I can carry right down in. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same on the other side. Two straight. I mean, these are big eyebrows, but um, I think it looks pretty good. And then we'll fan it out from there. like that okay now we're gonna do his hair on the back of his head now we've got these um, little uh, sideburns um, which didn't really accentuate too much here um, I've done a little more on some other carvings but just kind of give it a couple lines up there and it'll play right in now most carvings, the uh, when you're doing hair, you actually want to do uh, an S when you're doing it. 
um, probably not possible on the, these little caricatures. So um, these ones I usually just do kind of a straight straight line um, and get it right in here. So this is going to be the horseshoe hair. So um, you can kind of just start somewhere and start to take it and go right off that edge. And we'll just start to do the hair. Now we'll join these back up on the top. And you can start to just feather it in so that it does give a nice look. You don't want it to be too uniform. Some of them, I'll even just go up the middle a bit and connect these. Come down and do the sideburn on this side. Gonna clean this up to make it nice, um, kind of clean cuts right into underneath the hair. Just take the V again, round those off a bit. Okay, and one of the last things I'll do is actually put in the nostrils. So I take a small U and I just go right underneath there. Um, that one might be a little too skinny. Underneath the nose and I push that straight in. And do that on both sides. Pop that, get a knife and pop that out first. Hey everybody, uh, here we are with the finished product. Um, it's been a fun afternoon of carving. Beautiful day out here. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for sticking around this long. Uh, hopefully you liked the video. Uh, please smash that like button. Definitely helps out the channel. Um, and hit the subscribe button. Follow along for future videos. 